In the previous video, we went ahead and showed you how to turn off iPhoto or Photos so that it would stop automatically importing your pictures into the program. But what do you do with the photos that have already been imported in there over time? Now what we want to do is get these images out of iPhoto so that we can get them into Lightroom. If you're wondering what's going on with the pictures here in this video, Anyone that knows me knows that I have a little girl who loves to fall asleep everywhere. And on this particular day, she decided to go out onto the patio, put a chair over her face to block it from the sun, and then fall asleep. So I've decided to use these images for today's photographic example. When you're ready to go ahead and export your pictures out of iPhoto, there's one thing you should know, and that there are two options for editing your pictures. Option number one is exporting out edited files. And option number two is exporting out unedited files. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do both and then you can decide later which one you prefer. So option number one is exporting out our edited files. To do this, we're going to head on up to file. We're going to go to export and right now it won't let me do anything because I haven't selected any files. That was a pretty bonehead move. So let's go ahead and select this first top row and try it again. File export and we're going to choose export four photos and this is saying four photos because that's how many photos i have selected imagine that so we're going to go ahead and click this and we're going to get this little dialog box here so the first thing i'm going to do is decide what type of file do i want to get i can either get a jpeg file a tiff file or a png file now for me because i'm going to be using lightroom i'm going to go ahead and choose a tiff file as well, you can choose the size, and I want the full size file um, as it was captured in camera. I'm going to make sure that both of these boxes for information are checked, and I'm going to leave it so that it gives me the file name back as well as the moment name. If you're not sure what the moment name is, that's basically what this is over here. So in this case, it says Citrus Heights Arcade Creek. So that's going to be the moment name when we export it out. I'm going to go ahead and hit Export and this dialog box is going to open asking me where do I want to save the images. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and just save them to my desktop and choose export. If I head on over to my desktop you'll see that I have a folder here and inside I have four TIFF files all of which can be opened inside of Lightroom all of which contain the edits that I've made. So option number two is exporting pictures without the edits, which basically means I want to export out the original files. So we're going to go back to file and go back to export and we're going to export unmodified original files. Now you have the option to include the IPTC metadata as an XMP file. This is a little sidecar file that will come with the originals. I'm actually going to choose this just so you can see what that looks like. And again, we're going to leave the file naming situation exactly the same. And I'll go ahead and hit export. It's going to ask you where you want to put it. I'm going to put it on the desktop and hit export originals. And when it's done, I'll get a notification telling me that it's complete. So let's head on over to the desktop and here's the second folder. And if I open it, all of which are the originals, there is no black and white image in here, despite the fact that one of these images was black and white once upon a time. And in addition to that, I have received the XMP files, which contains all the metadata information. Lightroom has no problem as well as Adobe Camera Raw has no problem reading XMP files. So this is just something that's getting read in the background, but it's probably good to have because at some point you're going to delete all of the pictures that are in iPhoto and therefore you won't have the option to go back and create these XMP files later. As you can see, the file size here is only about one kilobyte. So it's pretty small and it's not really taking up any hard drive space whatsoever. So there's really no harm in going ahead and creating those files. If you're asking me, I recommend you go ahead and create them. I'd rather have them than not have them. And that's it. That's exporting your pictures out of iPhoto. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to our channel. We'd really greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next episode.